When you go into a gym locker room or restroom, a fitting room, you expect privacy behind closed doors. Yeah, but one local lawmaker says the current Ohio law on this matter is just outdated and doesn't offer enough protection. Local 12's Tessa Dottiero has exclusive surveillance footage from a case that actually spurred a statewide discussion on privacy. In January 2020, a 19-year-old girl came to this target in Deerfield Township to get some new clothes for an upcoming mission trip to Costa Rica, not knowing that when she went into the dressing room, she'd be victimized. Surveillance video inside the store tells the whole story. A young woman is seen entering the dressing room. The perpetrator, Christopher Anders, following just seconds behind. She was taking her shirt on or off in the process, and she looked up and in like the mirror saw over top of her was a, a hand holding a phone. And she knew, oh my gosh, someone's watching me, someone's taking pictures or video of me. Anders leaves the dressing room first, the victim shortly after, scared and confused. Police identified Anders after his purchase of a coffee at the in-store Starbucks. Mason Municipal Prosecutor Bethany Bennett tells me she wanted to charge the man with voyeurism. But because of outdated Ohio law, that couldn't happen. I sat in the room explaining to her and her parents why the case wasn't going to end up the way we had hoped. And it was heartbreaking, but they all understood. They said, "Give, do the plea bargain and then let's change the law. A voyeurism charge would have required Anders to register as a sex offender. Instead, he accepted a plea bargain. State Representative Jean Schmidt is working with the victim and her family on House Bill 406. It would make voyeurism easier to charge with stricter penalties. If you are going to uh, invade somebody's privacy and take pictures when they are undressing, you need to have a rightful punishment for that. It can't just be a slap on the wrist. In Deerfield Township, Tessa D. Tiro, Local 12 News. Now that bill would require those convicted to register as a sex offender. Right now it's awaiting referral to a committee. And we should note here, Anders right now is out on probation.